Hey guys, Vikrant here. Hey guys, Akshay here. So Akshay, would you please tell me where are you from? Hello guys, uh, I am Akshay Vaishnav. I am basically from Gujarat, India. Okay, and uh, what are you doing here in Germany? Currently, I am pursuing my masters in automotive production engineering at uh, Technica Hochschule Ingolstadt. And so, would you tell us a bit about your course? So, as as the name suggests, automotive production engineering. So, obviously, the the course contains more about the production side and the procurement side of the the course, the automotive sector. But uh, it it doesn't mean like you have to go in in the in the field of production. Uh, currently, I'm working in the design side also. So, it's it's a mix of all of the all of the core subjects of automotive automotive sector so yeah it's one of the best course of automotive all right okay let's discuss the course a lot more de- in a lot more detail in the next video but for now how did you find the course uh, i found this course uh, it's very particular on the automotive sector and uh, i think it's more of the generic course it's not like the core, core course from the automotive side we have lots of modules for production, procurement, lean development and lean management, lean production and cost engineering, as well as some modules of uh, design, design side also, yeah. And we have some group project also there. We get to choose some projects and we get to work for six months under the professor. So I think I would say this course is more of the generic course. And uh, after after choosing this course, you can go into lots of different sector of automotive automotive area. All right. Uh, so if I may ask, did you have some previous work experience in the same area before you started the course? I started my bachelor's in mechanical engineering from Gujarat Technological University in 2012 and I finished uh, in 2016, four years. And after that, I I searched for jobs locally for two, three months and then I found one job in one local company for, for machine manufacturing. So I worked there for eight months from August to February, I think. And during this period, I, I was in the assembly and quality area. And uh, during this period also, I was applying for German universities also. All right, and uh, how was your CGPA? Uh, in, in our university, at our university, we, we count the CGPA at out of 10, and uh, it was 8.49 to, to be precise, and it was, yeah, at, at, as, as per the university standard, it was, yeah, above average and very good, yeah. What is the general standard, uh, general CGPA of most students applying to your course? My batch is of 2017 batch, uh, so the MAP course always starts in the summer in tech. Uh, they only have summer in tech, and uh, the average CGPA was uh, more yeah eight plus. So we can say in in the German German system it was below two, below two yeah. So below two out of four. Yeah, and that's nice. How many students are there in your course? In my batch there are 24 students and uh, I, I would say like uh, out of 24 18 or 19 had previously worked work experience of average work experience of like two years and there were some guys also like me who didn't have any experience who worked like small for small amount like six months or eight months but i would say like uh, most of the guys were with well versed experience and some of the guys were with uh, experience with more than six years All right, and how do you find the life in Germany here? So basically, I live near the Munich. Uh, Munich is one of the best metropolitan city in Germany, and it's 80, the, the city of Ingolstadt is 80 km from Munich. And uh, the, the, uh, the, the Ingolstadt is not very big. It's famous for Audi. Uh, Ingolstadt, the, the city of Ingolstadt is home for the biggest manufa- automotive manufacturer of Germany, Audi. And uh, yeah, we have lots of companies uh, other than Audi here. So the life is pretty much good. Not as good as big cities like Munich or Berlin, but you find some good places to visit also in Ingolstadt and some places to hang out and chill out. And one of the the most beautiful thing about Ingolstadt is like it's it's small, so you can go pretty much anywhere with your bike or cycle. So you don't need bus pass or anything. And so Ingolstadt is so small that they only have buses, they don't have trams and U-bahns or some S-bahns like big cities. But uh, I personally found that uh, you can go pretty much anywhere uh, with cycle. That is good to know. 
So guys, that was a short introduction of Akshay and we shall once again see him in the next video. Ciao. Thank you. Ciao.